If you're using the base flange to create a flange rather than a tab, so if you're using it with an open profile, you cannot use a spline as the entity to start off the feature. And the same can be said for the swept flange. So the only way to create a straight flange or even a more complex flange with a spline is to use the lofted bends. So if I quickly create a spline on a plane, then go ahead and create another plane here. and then convert over the spline. I'll now be able to create a flange from those two splines. You'll also notice with this the bend line controls come up. Depending on how you make this geometry it may or may not be useful depending on how complex you make this, SOLIDWORKS is trying its best to put the bend lines in the right place, but generally for a spline that's going to be mostly useless. So now if I delete this out, if I try to create the same thing with the base flange, it'll say it contains unsuitable geometry. Similarly, the swept flange only allows lines and arcs. and we can loft this to another spline and that'll create a pretty funky shape and you can also loft this out directly to an edge or presumably a series of edges. But if you need to create any sort of lofted flange with a spline sketch, you'll have to use the lofted bend tool.